let's talk about equilibrium. So for equilibrium, you actually learn in IGCSE there are two kind of equilibrium. Uh, one kind is what we are going to focus on, which is called the translational equilibrium, which is something to do with F equals to MA when F is zero, then A is zero. And then, uh, of course, given that the speed is already zero, then uh, it won't be moving. The other kind of equilibrium is rotational equilibrium which is something to do with the torque in the clockwise direction equals to the torque that means the moment in the counterclockwise direction something like this in uh, the picture here however this one won't be covered in chapter 2 in IB physics um, only if you take option B then uh, you will be doing questions related to the moment so let's take a look of this very simple example here. So in this diagram, uh, there is a box and you can see there are three forces here, x to the left, 6 to the right, and another 12 newton to the right. And let's say if it is really in equilibrium, so in that case, a should equal to 0, and therefore net force should equal to 0, then horizontally, uh, the force, resultant force should be 0. So you have to think about this is 8, and on the right it would be 18 if you add them together so you would have to add another 10 newton force to get them the same so we can simply add them together uh, by saying 6 plus 12 minus 8 and that gets you uh, 10 in that case so 10 newton is a force that you have to add uh, in the opposite direction of this uh, similarly for the next one uh, you have 5 and 6 or so 11 uh, upward and 4 and 8 that is 12 downward so simply you just have to add one more newton upward in that case so you may say aha uh -huh, so what is difficult in IB physics then so in IB physics other than the basic principle we have to follow uh, we may see questions in two dimensions so here is an example of having three forces going in uh, apparently different direction on the same plane and therefore what we have to do in general is we have to decompose them just like what you learn in projectile motion into horizontal and vertical and the basic idea is uh, whenever you see an angle like this then you can have the force or a, uh, whatever vector velocity or anything this should be f1 cosine theta and then the vertical one which is the opposite to the angle that one will be f uh, sine theta so in that case you can kind of decompose a force that is going in a certain direction into only vertically and horizontally then you can apply f equals to ma uh, onto horizontal and vertical separately so for this example i'll let you to take a look by yourself and uh, later on we'll do an example together so you may want to pause the video and read it first if you're okay with the example just now, I would like you to try question 2.19. It's very similar, and if you really have difficulty, then you may want to uh, watch me to do it step by step and you follow me. If not, you may want to pause the video and try it first. show you how I would do it so first of all the question told you that uh, it will be 90 X Newton for the weight and here there's a mass uh, in the middle apparently and it got also got attached by two strings so each of them will have a different tension you cannot assume it is the same and uh, it is in equilibrium apparently uh, and therefore a is zero and therefore the net force in all direction that is horizontally and vertically would both be zero so what you have to do here is for each tangent since they're going in a certain angle then you just have to devise them or uh, we call it decompose the force into two components again horizontally and vertically so by the picture itself then we can see that let me zoom in, zoom in. we can see that uh, it is 40 degree and 60 degree so this one would be s this is cosine yeah cosine 40 degree 
and then horizontally let me use another color will be s sine 40 similar for the t that one that going to the left this is t sine 60 and then uh, the upward one would be t cosine 60 okay if you cannot figure out these uh, you may want to practice more with your maths and trigonometry and if you really have difficulty maybe you want to ask your friends uh, or you can ask me uh, to how to see how you can figure this out okay so for now what you have to do is um, I would always try to do a very clear presentation and I will encourage you to do so so here I would do horizontally to write down we are trying to do it horizontally and then f equals to ma uh, which equals to zero since this is in equilibrium um, so what you can do or maybe you can just write f equals ma and then horizontally we got actually two forces so which is t sine 60 and s sine 40 but this is in opposite direction so i'll simply put a minus to it so it will be seen here. So it should equal to zero and therefore T sine 60 equals to S sine 40. Or if you like to uh, rearrange them, it's really up to you. Similarly, for vertical, I'll put down vertically and then I'll still uh, write the equation again, F use MA to be clear uh, so that people can you know follow it easily. The next thing you want to do is just simply look at uh, what are the forces we have vertically. So here we have two upper force and we want to add them together. And S cosine 40. And in fact, if you like to do, you can do uh, like what we do here, like minus W equals to zero, or uh, a faster way, if you're okay with that, then we can simply say, oh, they equal to W, cause uh, they should have the same magnitude. In that case, the upward total force should equal to the downward total force. So this will be the second equation you can label. And uh, just let me to be lazy here. You may write another step if you like, uh, but then let me just be lazy here and I change this to 98.0 or similar 98 um, directly. Uh, and that there will be two equation. We can now list it out and we can simply do simultaneous equation with that. So maybe for equation one, we can rearrange a little bit more as in uh, t equal to s sine 40 divide sine 60. And then let's just set this as one instead. Okay. And simply, I, I guess you can uh, do the rest by substituting one into two, and then you can just solve it. So you should have something like this, and then you can kind of uh, extract the S out, and then you can calculate uh, the rest directly on your calculator. So these, these, plus these, and then you just find the number, and it will be 1.137158, just for your reference. Uh, but then I will still use the whole number to calculate. So S should be 86.1797, so round it up. Cause uh, 98 is three sec fix, so here we'll keep it as three sec fix, so that would be 86.2 Newton. Okay, so uh, the last thing is simply find T by substituting these back to equation. Just like this, and then you should find the answer as in 63.96 something again run it up to 63.64.0 well, then newton okay and that is all for this question so i just hope to reiterate again uh, the steps that you should do is uh, you may want to decompose and express them in uh, the way that along the axis so here we choose horizontal and vertical axis and then after that for each of them you may want to express uh, f equals to ma and then you just substitute what you know in it so this is the usual way that we solve for simple force equation